for this, our main event of the evening. Verdum is 12 years his senior. He weighed in at 231 pounds. He will have a five inch reach advantage. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Eve. Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 24 wins, nine losses, and one draw. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 231 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Fabrizio. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the doctor. They are so well rounded that they have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key match. Nice punch by Lee. Just a nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Three minutes to go now. Changes his stance. And they separate. Big ball for land. Now he gets back. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Back to the feet now. Just a slip there. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that. Got the single collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. Verdum gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. Oh, big knee! Shoes hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. And 
they separate. What a tricky head kick. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with it. Straight right hand, no good. It's very tricky to throw that body. Okay, stop. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. You ready? You ready? Round two is underway. That's a big strike. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. I mean, that right hand landed square. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting it over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? Throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, for Doom's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder. What a so a near-perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, who's ever getting down there? Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? He's gonna attack the triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finisher position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Sleep with the arm triangle. Again, pick your poison on the ground with this guy. All that pressure on the side of your neck. I don't know the artery, John. I'm pretty sure you might. You get all that pressure on that artery, and it puts you to sleep. What is it? I think it's the carotid artery, and a lot of fighters say they've got a pretty good feel for it. He certainly did that. That's why you got to have friends that are like encyclopedias. John Ennis, my encyclopedia. My God. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. So there he is, the baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, a title that every heavyweight wants. He has it after the win by submission here tonight. He leaned on the grappling, and he got the job done in a big way. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 31 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So how about it? There is a new battle.
baddest man on the planet, the new UFC heavyweight champion. And he didn't just come in here and win on points here tonight. He submitted the defending reigning UFC heavyweight champion, takes the belt into his corner, and this is...